All right, how you doing? I haven't put up a video and I don't know how long because most of my videos are just like, okay, we're going to do some gaming stuff and that's what we do. But everybody and their mother has got a video about The Last Jedi. And now that I've seen it twice, I figure what the hell. I'll piss in the wind just like everybody else. So I'm going to put my opinions out there too. Which, once again, spoilers! Spoilers, 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 spoilers. Don't watch this if you haven't seen it yet. So anyway, I'm going to give you my opinion on this one. So I've been watching all the reviews and what people are saying about this. And I'm going to put my own take on it. First of all, the first time I saw the movie, I loved it. I was just like, wow, this is such an incredible movie. It was so good. And I watched the reviews and I was seeing what other people are saying. And I'm kind of like, something I'm missing here that I, I, I'm not quite getting. And then... I went again and saw it again. And the second time I saw it, I liked it even more. So I'm going to just go ahead and put my own point, opinion on this. Number one, if you liked Force Awakens, you're going to like this movie. If you didn't like Force Awakens, you're not going to like it because it's a lot of the, I won't say a lot of the same necessarily, but it goes on that plot line. Now, one of the things I liked about it is it came out directly after the movie and things were just going to hell in a handbasket. And some of the character development, like with Poe and the whole idea with him is like, okay, he wanted to try to be the hero. And in all honesty, he royally screwed some shit up by pulling what he did. In all honesty, he did. Which, I got to admit, I was on board with him, but after watching it twice, I'm like, oh man, he really screwed things up by doing what he did. So, it, it, and, and it's like, you don't get that in the movie. It's like, okay, he's in training a little bit, or, or he's like, okay, he has to learn his thing. But, yeah, he really didn't mess some things up by pulling the stunt he did. So, um, a lot of people would have survived if he did not do that. So... That's one, one thing I'll say about it, which I got to admit, I like that part because it's nice when heroes totally screw up. Number two, um, I've seen some interviews with Mark Hamill, and he said that he didn't like the direction Luke went. Now, Mark Hamill's acting in this, was I thought was really good. I, it's For a Star Wars film, it's been one of the things best things I've ever seen him do. And... The best way I can say, because a lot of people are like, oh, he's a Jedi, he shouldn't have done this, he shouldn't have gone this route. Jedis are human beings too. And the thing is, you have to remember who the Jedi were and what they were. They were trained from birth, almost. They are little tiny children, no remembrance of their parents, and they're took taken into the order. One of the faults with Anakin is that he was not that young. He was 10 years old, had some attachments to his mother. and That ultimately brought his downfall. I won't go into that right now. But Luke was even older. He was 18 years old. Anakin was 10. So he had his own faults. And I guess the best way I can describe it, because they're like, oh, and Mark Hamill said, oh, Luke never would have done this. I, yeah, he would have. It's like this. He looked at a certain way. He looked at the history of what had happened. And he challenged Kylo Ren, uh, and challenge is the wrong word maybe, but he went up against Kylo Ren, or Ben Solo at the time, and he just, and it's like, and it was a moment of weakness for him. And that moment of weakness, all of a sudden, as he said, I see a frightened boy. And I realized I was wrong, but it was too late at that point. And I mean, the best thing I can put to it as, uh, in a modern day time frame, is it's almost like you get caught sleeping with your best friend's wife. You are guilty as hell about it. You know what you did is wrong and you went for it anyway. And that's where Luke just totally lost faith in everything. And therefore the character made so much sense to me in a lot of different ways. Um, I really did like this movie. I think it opened the, everything up. I thought the Kylo and Ray was amazing. I thought that how they were just so oppositely opposed and all of a sudden were drawn together because it's like you don't know the full story. Oh, you don't know the full story. And what you find out, the truth is kind of a mix of the two because Kylo is not completely right on what he saw. 
That was his opinion of what he saw of it. Then you had what Luke shared with Ray, and that was Luke's side of it. The truth is somewhere in the middle. And I have to admit, I lean towards more Luke's side of it, is that he had a moment of weakness, said, I have to stop this. And he, and all of a sudden, he realized that's where the mistake was made, but by then it was too late. And in that respect, I thought that his whole character that was secluded said, I've screwed things up enough. I'm out of this. I'm staying away from it. And then when Yoda comes in and just kind of says, you haven't, you haven't listened to a damn thing I've said, have you? He just came in and put it in perspective. And that was Luke's redemption point, which he did what was necessary to finish the job. And as I said, I really did like the arc. I liked the story, I, how the characters went. Um, I mean, even with Leia, because we all know Carrie Fisher died, and, that, and that's a very sad thing, but we were waiting for Princess Leia to die somewhere, and we kept waiting for it to happen, and it didn't. Which, you know, Episode Nine, it's going to have a time jump. In other words, it's not going to be 20 minutes after like this movie was. It's going to be a year after, two years after. And the fact that Adam Driver playing Kylo Snoke Kylo Snoke, fuck. Kylo, Kylo Ren, Adam Driver playing that character, he's in charge now. He's the Emperor. And then you have Rey, who, because Princess Leia is going to die before the next movie starts. We know that's going to happen. And somehow, I don't know if she's in charge of the rebellion, but she's involved with it. So you have someone has been in charge of it who's unstable as hell, and then someone's trying to learn something and has no knowledge. Maybe not trying to lead, but being a huge part of it. Poe's going to be a big part of it. I'm really looking forward to seeing what episode nine. I have to admit, I'm gonna. It's going to be a difficult two years to figure out what happens at this point, but. I have to admit, I was really happy with this movie. Um, as I said, I saw it one time, and a lot of things I didn't catch, and I was watching reviews, and then the second time, I caught them, and then and I saw a lot of reviews saying, oh, the first time I didn't like it, but the second time I loved it. I liked it the first time, and the second time, I liked it even more. It was, it was just incredible. So anyway, there's my pissing in the wind, just like everybody else. This is The Last Jedi. My review from Darth Hessian, who, well, ah, oh, fuck it. You watch my stuff sometimes. So, anyway, post your comments. I'm curious what you're going to say, if anything at all. Stay metal. Yeah.